So what are we doing next? R dotted with N. Again, to repeat, why, why is it of interest? Because it doesn't depend on the origin, and so it's a characteristic of the curve. R dotted with N. And I will tell you right now that we will have to go a little bit outside of the scope of where we're at right now to do this. And I will pose a challenge. If somebody figures out a way to, fo to follow this way of thinking, this way of reasoning, by manipulating curve integrals and these simple arithmetic integrals, if you can apply the same framework to figure out this integral, A plus for the course, guaranteed. I don't know how to do it. I'll show you an alternative way. And the funny thing is, I thought I did. And then this morning when I actually started preparing for this lecture, and I realized that I don't know how to do it in the same elegant way. This is out of context. My goal is to get to this theorem in the most uh, elegant, geometric, wonderful, robust way over the next, over the duration of this course. But right now we're just gonna uh, use a bastardized version of it, which is what's taught, and I will do lots of things that I don't enjoy. And it will be ugly, but it will give us the answer, okay? And that is use the divergence theorem. Do you remember the divergence theorem? And if you can see, this is tailor-made for an application of the divergence theorem. So here is the thing I dislike number one, using divergence theorem before we established it. So let's just document that I don't like doing this, but this will be integral over this area, over this area. So I'll use capital S, because that's what we'll end up using. So we're, I'm going to evaluate divergence of the unit normal some, don't worry if you don't remember what divergence is, we'll get to all of that. And you'll just learn all of this in a fundamental way, but let's call the domain capital S, the boundary L. Okay, so it's the integral of divergence. And here comes the next question. How do if we evaluate divergence? And now I'm going to use something that would cause me to turn in my grave if I were dead. I hate this to no end, but I know a lot of scientists who I respect deeply for who, who say that this is their favorite application of the divergence theorem. These are individuals who love algebra and don't care to connect it to geometry. And if you love algebra, this works out beautifully in terms of algebra, and I can see how it's a very appealing application of the divergence law, and I respect it 100%. To me, uh, we're coming from the angle of geometry, and when you're coming from the angle of geometry, using a particular coordinate system, which was what we're about to do, is a big no-no, uh, especially to derive a very general result, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to introduce Cartesian coordinates, and I will say, let's, let's say they start here, Right, my Cartesian coordinates are x and y, and this is the origin. Or might as well just say this point is the origin. And this is the position vector, right? In which case you will agree that r, that the components of the position vector are actually x, y, right? In Cartesian coordinates, when you when the origin for the position vector coincides with the origin of the coordinate system, the components of the position vector are x and y. So here we have, we're now in Cartesian coordinates, so it's a double integral, whatever the limits are, dx dy of the divergence of x comma y. As you remember the formula for the divergence? It's the derivative of the first component with respect to x plus the derivative of the second component with respect to y. And so it's 1 plus 1, 2. And in three dimensions, it would be 3. Okay, so we're integrating 2 over this domain. And 
Of course, the answer is two times area, total, air, total enclosed area. Is that a beauty? Yes, it's absolutely a beauty. And so the answer is, instead of two, I'm going to use the symbol M, the dimension of the embedding space, because we're in N dimensions. Right, so look, we can get the length of the curve and the enclosed area through these beautiful curve integrals. So we're doing a ton. All right, it will actually be seven beauties. Mm -hmm.